for those who are really starting from scratch, they've maybe heard a few things about Tableau and are really looking to get started, this one is for you. So what we'll cover in this lecture, I'll show you how to access the trial versions of uh, the software. We'll go through a quick installation process and then I'll talk you through some of the key features of um, Tableau Desktop uh, on your first introduction to that, so your landing page if you like. Tableau software has very generously made available trial software of each of their products, so Tableau Desktop, Tableau Server, and Tableau Online, which is a cloud-hosted version of Tableau Server. These software trials are fully functioning software, so everything you see during um, the trial period is what you will see when you uh, go ahead and purchase the, the product uh, for your ongoing use. I've provided a link here where you can access the uh, trial software uh, and there is a 14 day exploration on that trial software. But I think that um, after day one, you will have seen that um, Tableau is everything you hoped for and more. Uh, so you will proceed with the purchase. But that, that's the details for the uh, trial software downloads. Another thing that I would like to just talk to you quickly about is Tableau Public. Tableau, uh, as an organisation, uh, believes in um, helping people see and understand uh, their data, creating beautiful data visualisations and really using data to tell a story. And it is um, sort of along those veins that um, they have uh, produced Tableau Public. And Tableau Public is a, a global community where individuals create visualisations uh, using Tableau and then they promote those, they publish those to the public, as Tableau Public, the name would imply. There is a version of desktop, the Tableau Public desktop, uh, which is 100% free and does not have an expiration date on it. Uh, so it is a piece of software that you can have for free with no expiration. But there are a couple of um, big um, gotchas here. First one, obviously, is this is, this is designed for um, data that can be publicly available or data that you just don't mind being available on the internet. So I wouldn't be doing company financials uh, with this sort of software. Uh, I wouldn't be um, doing anything that had any customer details with this. But if you're looking to really just have a bit of a play, experiment with Tableau and its features, this is something that you might want to look into. If you download the Tableau Public edition of Tableau Desktop, what you will find is that you are not able to use all of the data connectors, uh, and we'll talk about data connectors in, in following lectures, and you are also not able to save the visualisation to any local drive. The only way you can save your work is to a public account. Um, now, Tableau produces a, uh, what they call it, a viz of the day email and uh, you can apply for your um, visualizations to be submitted and then showcased in that. Um, people can also search the galleries of Tableau Public to see what interesting uh, work has been put up by other users. So really, right, this, is, this is a playpen. This is not somewhere that you would uh, want to be saving anything that uh, you wouldn't be comfortable with people outside of your organization seeing the data but i just wanted to give you that option uh, so you can proceed or not proceed as you see fit but i highly recommend getting the 14 day trial software um, from the link at the top now you can follow through the step-by-step -step installation instructions and the setup wizard that is provided by tableau and in the next slide we're going to start to have a look at uh, the actual landing page and what you'll see when you start Tableau Desktop. So once you launch Tableau Desktop, you will see this setup uh, is the default uh, so landing page. We've got our data sources uh, available on the left and our workbooks available on the right. 
as you complete more workbooks, uh, thumbnails of each of those workbooks will appear in this section, similar to these sample workbooks that are available at the bottom here. I will draw your attention to the bottom left hand corner, getting started, where you can see a product tour, but more importantly, training videos. These training videos do deep dives of specific techniques and skills that you may want to develop further. This course, as we've already covered, is about learning the top 10 core skills that business users would need when using Tableau Desktop. So a very quick overview of some of the key functions. You'll find that the um, menu system, menu toolbar is very familiar um, with any other software that you've been using on a, on a PC or Mac environment. The only other thing that I would draw your attention to at this point are these four uh, tabs, if you like, over here on the top right hand corner. You'll notice the little house which indicates we are on our home screen. If we click on this database icon, we expand the window where we can connect to various data sources. I'll cancel out of that for the moment because we'll come back to that in the next lecture. At the moment we are uh, now in a thumbnail view, so we're in the first tab. And what that means is that we will have thumbnails uh, appearing along the bottom of the screen as we develop new worksheets and dashboards more on that later. Alternatively, we can select a grid style layout. So it really depends what you're more comfortable with. I prefer to work in the thumbnail layout here. Um, I think they also call it a, a movie um, reel display. Uh, but again, we'll go back and we'll have a, we'll start at our homepage. And this is where I'd like you to start when you start the next lecture.